<laughs> I remember when I was in middle school and high school, K&K was a place to go to get your gym suit. Yes, a suit. When I was in middle school, the girls had to wear a one-piece gold zip-up gym suit. I'm pretty sure K&K does not sell those anymore, but K&K is still there and has grown just like Bettendorf. I remember when there was a Dairy Queen in downtown Bettendorf, ordering was so much fun. You sat in a booth, picked up the phone attached to the wall, and called in your food and ice cream order. In its place today is Adventurous Brewing, where you can order a beer. As I've grown, so has Bettendorf, especially in the downtown. I remember being a little kid and my three aunts dragging me to the fashion gal. And I used to not like going to Fashion Gal. I would hide in the clothing racks just to make them mad. But also, I remember in junior high going to Osco all the time and looking for new packs of baseball cards. It was always a big deal to go over there and try to find baseball cards with the awesome rookies in it. And today it's really cool to still go to Los Amigos at least once a week up at Cumberland Square. And also where Oscar was, seeing how Studio A Dance Company has hundreds of dancers coming and going out of there every single day. So it's really cool to see how Cumberland Square has evolved over the years. And as I've grown up, to see it as still a great shopping district. I remember going to Geefman's Grocery Store on Devil's Glen and Middle Road, which is now where High V is located, along with Glen Center. My mom worked at Geefman's and I would ride my bike with friends to visit and buy a candy bar for a quarter. The Green Stamp Store was next door and my siblings and I would lick and stick booklets full to get something good. When I was in high school, I worked at the TCBY on that strip. Now I buy my family's groceries at High V, where my son worked in high school, and visit the cookie store and pick up takeout at the restaurants in Glen Center. As I've grown, so has Bettendorf. I remember when I was a kid, my mom would take my brother and I to Governor's every Monday for dollar burger baskets. When I got older, I got to enjoy their patio on the corner of Devil's Glen and Middle Road. It was the best location to see Bettendorf and to be seen by Bettendorf. Now, Governor's has grown into the Tangled Wood, and their beer garden is one of the best spots to take my family to enjoy events in Bettendorf. As I have grown, so has Bettendorf. I remember driving across 53rd Street when it was a gravel road, two lanes with corn on both sides of the road, typically heading west, um, but realistically, it's crazy to see how much growth there has been. And in fact, I actually live in one of those cornfields today. It's so funny to see how Bettendorf has grown as I have grown up here, and it continues to get bigger and better every day. I remember when there was no Forest Grove Drive and TBK was just a sparkle in somebody's eye. I remember when 53rd Street was gravel and we'd walk across it into the cornfields that stretched all the way to I-80. Look at how things have changed in this corridor. Heck, I remember when there was a cornfield where my current house used to be just down the road. This has been a great city and as I've grown, this city has grown with me. Hi, I'm Mayor Bob Gallagher. We hope you've enjoyed hearing some of the Bettendorf memories from our city staff. I know we all remember what areas of town looked like back then, and we're excited to know what they're turning into right now. However, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Locally owned businesses are still the lifeblood of our community. And during this holiday shopping season, we ask that you support them. The ones that have been here for decades and the ones that are just starting out. You may recall the video we did during the COVID-19 pandemic encouraging you to shop local. Now is the time to do that again. We understand that in order to grow, work needs to be done and lots of work there is to be done. Our hardworking crews are literally laying the foundation of the future of our city right now, as you can see behind me. It's exciting, but we know that it's also exhausting with construction cones and detour, detour signs at every turn. We want to thank you again for your patience and encourage you to get out and support our locally owned businesses who are experiencing these projects from their front doors. So make a couple extra stops, take a couple extra minutes to get around the work zone and visit them. Give an extra few dollars to buy one of their great products or to eat a meal at these locally owned restaurants. Be extraordinary for our extraordinary city. Be here in Bettendorf.